Then you have to stop a little bit. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Ciao, Kristen. Ciao. So I'm all happy to see you again. <laughs> okay. With your ponytail. Okay, <laughs> listen, Christina, Kristen. <clears throat> Bella, Bella's character comes from, I mean, I started at the beginning, she was such a naive uh, young girl, not knowing anything about life, and now she's a woman. And uh, it happens a little bit also to you, you are growing with this character. Mm. Of course, you are not a mother, you are not a, thank God, you are not killer. But there are moments in which you identify with Bella, mm. and where? Um. I think I, I can really identify with with being a very gut oriented person and sometimes not knowing uh, why you feel a certain way until a little while after um, I think she 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 follows her emotions but she's not she's not silly about it I mean she's um she's intuitive I think I think there I, I can relate to being filled with with a sort of almost baseless conviction and then putting the pieces together why I feel this way and going all right I figured it out this is it and I that's how my mind works like I I usually feel before I've articulated exactly why and she does seem naive and silly but I actually think that she she knew herself from the word go and it was just about figuring out how it all fits together do you know what I mean and in this it finally does everything works very well and she becomes she really becomes that sort of um, matriarch, you know? I mean, she's like in a position to to carry a lot of weight because she's strong, she's a machine. And she's, she's never silly, I agree with you. She, yeah. She's young, she was young, mm. full, a yeah, teenager, have this kind of, but anyway. I have to tell you that when I saw you in certain scene, uh, this time I got a little emotional, I don't know, you were quite intense. <laughs> <laughs> Brava, Krista. Oh, thanks. And also in the, in the wedding scene, I don't know, I, I, uh, something happened, I think, to the audience. How did you, how did you imagine that scene? How did you go inside? It seems true. It seems true. Good. That's awesome. Yeah. I mean, really, that's good Was to hear. Was it a difficult thing for you? Was it was very emotional? Um, the, the, the whole build up to it was difficult. I think that I basically, I put in the work over the four year process and it all paid off that day. Do you know what I mean? Because I've never been more clear headed. I wasn't thinking a thing. I, I was so nervous and, and sort of like anticipating this moment for so long that once I got there, I knew that if I stayed in that headspace, that's all I would remember. And I wanted to really live it, and uh, uh, it felt it, it felt good. It felt like something. It felt very surreal. It felt very sort of like transcendent. <laughs> it, I, I mean, I know it sounds like really no, lame. It's true. It it's just true. It actually no. did. But I saw your eyes. I saw your face, and then when you open the eyes in the last scene, hey, we see that now you are a vampire. God. Mm -mm. How how how. How do you feel? How did you feel? Because you have to believe in what you are doing. I know that it's a fiction, but still, mm -hmm. you are a vampire in that moment. Yeah. How did you feel? Liberated? With a, a lot of pain? No. Oh, my God. I, it was, honestly, that... It, like, that moment, I mean, as soon as those eyes open, it is... It is she was born. I mean, literally born to be... She's the, she's, she's the best vampire in the series. I mean, she's she's... She thrives instantly. I mean, it's so difficult for, for all the other vampires to make the transition. Um, it's uh, every step of the way, every, the way Stephanie, the way Stephanie introduced her into this new life. I mean, like, whether she's aware of it or not, every little thing, every step that was easier and, and, and every, it was, it, 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 it totally sums up why this journey has been so difficult and why it's worth it. Because she's like, she was born to do this. So when I opened my eyes, literally, I was just like, Finally. so ready to breathe. Finally. You know what I mean? Finally. Yeah. Finally. Oh my God. Let me ask you the classic question that everybody wants. How do you keep private your private life? Um, you just do. <laughs> so, so you don't go out? You don't go to, you don't do anything? What? No, socially or, or something like that? No, I don't change any aspect of my life. I just don't 
talk about it like it's important to other people. I mean, I don't talk about it as if it's like something to sell. I mean, I, I don't change anything. I, I make no like concessions. I don't give anything up. I just don't um, I just don't really like talking about it. It makes me uncomfortable. I feel like it's gross. It's not the right thing to do. A short question. Uh, you, you are a vampire and of course you start a new life. Do you believe in the after death uh, new life? Oh man. <laughs> I talked about that and then you are you live forever there. Eh? Right. And then I started. Um, honestly, that is like the heaviest question ever asked in a in a press con in a press junket. I, I, I honestly, I I don't really um, claim to know. Not even claim. I don't. I don't. Um, I don't know anything. Yeah, okay. I mean, it's, you know what I mean. It's that's, yeah, that's sort of my. The knowing thing. This is a long conversation. <laughs> that's that's such a long conversation. Okay, four minutes. Yeah. Four minutes. Okay. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>